Are you looking to take your gardening to the next level? Have you ever considered incorporating crystals into your garden? Believe it or not, gardening with crystals is a practice that dates back thousands of years, with First Nation shamans and other cultures around the world using them to add balance and harmony to their gardens. In this video, we'll explore the different crystals that represent the four elements of earth, air, fire, and water, and how they can be used to enhance your garden design. From small crystals in bird baths and succulent container gardens to large crystals marking out garden beds and trails, we'll show you how to incorporate these beautiful and meaningful stones into your outdoor space. So, let's get started on this journey of gardening with crystals. Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spirit Magica's Rock and Crystal channel, before we begin, let me just mention our current amazing crystal offer, a 20% off shop-wide coupon, for our rock and crystal shop, which can be found in the description of this video. Now, back to the video. Crystals come in a wide variety of colors, sizes, and textures. You might use a small crystal in a bird bath, succulent container garden, fountain, or fairy garden. Large crystals can be placed throughout the garden or used to mark out garden beds or trails. You might even find a butterfly using the shiny reflective surface of a crystal to help warm themselves, and dry the dew off their wings just as they do with gazing balls. Another way to use crystals is to add an antique crystal chandelier, or lampshade hung from overhangs, tree limbs, or pergolas. When the sun hits them, you'll get colorful rays of light throughout. When gardening with crystals the stones can be planted in the soil next to or underneath the plant roots, or they can also be displayed on the soil surface next to the plant. The following are just some of the crystals you might use in your garden. Citrine. This crystal symbolizes the energy of the sun. It helps to add a happy accent to beds or containers. It promotes happiness and dispels toxins and negativity. Clear Quartz. This crystal is one of the most common stones available, it easily reflects sunlight, sometimes casting rainbow reflections. Clear quartz may help tomato plants resist pests and disease, including blight. Green aventurine is an excellent crystal choice for bird or butterfly fountains, as well as container gardens. It also serves as a more cost-effective alternative to jade for bonsai or zen gardens. This crystal has a calming effect on stress and can absorb negativity, making it a perfect addition to any garden. Furthermore, it can aid new plantings and reduce transplant shock. Malachite. This green crystal represents abundance and fertility. It promotes new growth and transformation when added to a garden. Large raw pieces of malachite make great garden accents. Moonstone. This crystal is associated with the moon. It makes an excellent addition to moon gardens, especially when they are accentuated with landscape lighting. It promotes health and fertility. It adds the energy of peace and relaxation. Moss agate. This crystal is known as the gardener's stone. It promotes a connection to the earth and has grounding energies. It adds balance, promotes health, and vitality in the garden. Small polished pieces or chips can be used as accents in cacti, succulent, or fairy gardens. Rhyolite. This colorful crystal adds balance, fortitude, and perseverance. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are shopping for crystals, don't forget about the 20% off shop-wide coupon for our online crystal shop, which can be found in the description of this video. Shopping with Spirit Magica is a great way to save money on crystals, and to support this channel too. Don't miss our special $5 Labradorite crystal deal of the day. See you in the next video.